guys, so I don't think I ever officially um, started the vlog this morning because um, my phone's kind of been wacky this morning and not really working when I was recording. Um, I did take the car this morning to drop it off to get it fixed um, from when I hit the deer this past weekend um, and I dropped some stuff off at Goodwill and so the car is going to take yeah the car is going to take about a week and a half to two weeks to get fixed um we are picking up a rental car later today we'll have the rental car for at least a week um we might extend it for longer only because of riley's appointments i do need to be able to get her to those um and yeah and then since then we've kind of just been hanging out and cleaning and packing um basically what we'll be doing for the next um few weeks i did not realize how crazy my hair was i just got done doing my workout because i didn't get it in this morning um riley actually did it with me for a little bit and i was able to get a clip so we'll throw it in here somewhere um yeah and now we're just cold and snapping riley and i are just hanging out <coughs> um and Pro probably um just do some oh okay hold on probably just probably just do some more cleaning and packing until it's time to start dinner and go pick up the rental car Riley, don't do that. I'm going to let all the water out. Uh, yeah, you don't want to let the water out. I got to do. Alright guys, so it's like 8 o'clock now, um, it's been a little while since the last time I filmed, both kids are in bed now, um, things got really crazy, I went to go pick up the rental car, um, and it was at the airport, um, cause we live like 15 minutes from the airport, and so my, I went with my dad, um, we took his car and he dropped me off, and I picked it up, you get to go pick your car out of the zone that you paid for. Picked it out, um, I'm going to go out and you have to go through these like little things and they scan your thing so they, and put in the license plate so they know what car you have and all of that and then you drive through once the light is green. And I guess like right before I was about to go through somehow the spikes went up because they have spikes there in case somebody tries to steal one of the cars because the keys are in all of the cars um so people can just pick which one they want when they rent a car and somehow the spikes got up and someone drove out and popped the rental car tires that they had and then nobody could get out because there was only one exit and all the spikes were up and the 
they could not figure out how to get the spikes up. Nobody knew where the key was to get them down. And then once they found the key, nobody knew how to make the machine go to get down. Um, so they actually had to have all of us turn around and go out um, the back entrance exit, um, which is only one lane. And there were at least 50 cars waiting to leave. Um, so I got there at like 4.30 and I didn't get home to almost 7 o'clock and it's literally 10 minutes from our house. Um, and I just, I was just sitting there because I could not go anywhere. I could not leave until they had us turn around and then I had to sit there and wait for them to go by hand by hand because they had to write everybody's license plates down and scan and put all their names in all manually and everything. Um, thankfully, I had already been scanned through. I was on the other side of the thing waiting to go just through the last gate. And so it was pretty quick when I went through, um, like once I got to the part to get out. But it was crazy. Um, but we finally have a rental car now. Um, I dropped our car off to get done. And it's going to take like a week and a half to two weeks. We have the rental car for at least a week at now. We might extend it. Probably will have to extend it because of Riley's therapies. But we will see how it goes. Um, but I'm just thankful that we have a car for now to get the kids to where they need to go. And the rental car. Um, and we moved next week. And now we don't have the space in our car. So that kind of sucks. Because um, I didn't get an SUV. I just got a car I got a Toyota Camry um, so there's not as much space in it to use for moving but we'll make it work hey guys happy Thursday um, it is like noon I think I think I forgot to like officially um, start the vlog this morning I did get some clips from this morning but I don't think I actually started it if I did then hap um, then good morning again <laughs> um, don't really have a whole lot going on. I've just been running errands this morning and cleaning and um, and cleaning and packing, which y'all are probably getting tired of hearing me say that. Um, Riley has feeding therapy a little later today. This is actually our first week of feeding therapy with the new therapist and at the new therapy office. She hasn't had feeding therapy in. I want to say like at least six months because her feeding therapist um, left her the office at her therapy place. Her speech does work on feeding a little bit with her, but um, <coughs> but this will be um, like actual feeding therapy dedicated just to feeding for the whole um, the whole time. So I'm really excited to get her started back in that, so we can hopefully brought in what she eats by mouth and hopefully reduce the amount that she takes by g-tube um and until then um i don't really think we're gonna do much riley is eating lunch and colton is sleeping so yeah excuse me sir you don't need all the graham crackers hey one at a time We don't need to eat all the graham crackers at once. Hey, what are you doing? Mom! Yes, Riley? Mom! What is he doing? I eat. He's eating all the graham crackers? Yeah! Say Colton. Can you say Colton? Uh, Only uh, one uh, at uh, a uh, time. Oh, are you sharing with Sissy? That's so kind of you. Oh, you could take a bite out of it first? <laughs> Ma, I, I'm tired. Did Colton give it to you? Did yeah. he take a bite out of it first?
it ready? Huh? Is it ready? Yeah. Look, it's ready. Huh? I drew you. I'm me. Yes. I'm back. You're going to draw daddy? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? No. You're not? You are okay? You go brush it off? Yeah. You make the mess? No? You didn't? It looks like you did. Colton, did you make that mess? Was it you? Who did it then? Good morning. Happy Friday. Um, last night was super rough, so don't mind me. Um, I was super rough too. Um, Riley had a really rough night sleeping. She was just really upset um, all night. Nothing was making her happy. Um, and then I looked back at her next camera this morning and saw that she did have a seizure in her sleep last night. Um, so that's always upsetting, um, especially when we're not able to be there to see her or to help her. Um, and then she's finally napping now. Colton is napping now too. Um, on top of that, my allergies are going crazy. Um, and then this morning I got a call from our realtor because um, we are supposed to close on our house next um, in a week and a half on the 18th was when we were supposed to close, and now the buyer is about to switch lenders, um, which would mean it would be another 30 days before we close, so it would be in the beginning of September, um, and Maybe. she said if we don't allow them to switch lenders that they're going to pull out, um, which I'm sure we could get another offer, but not like we're going to close any earlier if we go back on the market and get another offer. Um, so now we just got to try to figure out what we want to do with that. Um, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but we've gotten rid of a lot of things. Um, we don't have our table anymore, or our couch, or Colton's high chair um, because of where we're moving um, in our next life journey. So... It's a real, like, kind of inconvenience, and we're basically, like, all packed up, and now we're going to have to deal with, you know, not having all of these things that we probably could have used, or now we're, and we're going to have all these boxes around. It's not that big of a deal, but it's definitely an annoyance and kind of an inconvenience. Um, and then now we also have to change our living plans around. Um, because we were going to have a little bit of an in-between stage, now we have to change those around to change our plans for when we are going to move um, and our living situation once we're done with the in-between stage and it's, it's just a whole mess and not really how I wanted to start the morning. Um, thankfully I got my work in before, my workout in before she called me because I probably would not want to do it now. Um, I'm actually thinking about running to Starbucks while the kids sleep because my dad's here. Um, but I don't know. I have no idea what I'm going to do now because there's not really anything to do. Um, so we'll see. Hopefully the day gets better.
so I am about to head to Target now. Um, I realized we didn't have any wrapping paper for the kids' birthday presents. Um, so, and Colton's birthday is next week. Um, can't believe he is going to be one. And um, there was just a couple other things we needed. And I honestly just needed to get out of the house this morning. It's just not going the way I want it. Um, and I need some caffeine. Um, so I'm going to go run to Target. And my dad's going to watch the kids. They're both still sleeping. So um, they should probably still sleep, be asleep once I get back. Hopefully. Um, so yeah. I just left Target and I got my Starbucks. I got a tall hot mocha. Normally I get a tall hot skinny mocha, but they actually discontinued the skinny mocha syrup, which really frustrates me. But um, because that was only three points on the green plan for Weight Watchers, and I think this is seven, I want to say seven or eight. Um, they didn't eat breakfast, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, and I have a low point lunch and dinner planned, so it's fine, but still kind of annoying. I grabbed wrapping paper for the kids' birthday presents, um, and then I just grabbed a couple things that my dad needed and that we needed at the house, and now I am headed back home.